just now, the Justice Department has filed a motion in the Southern District of Florida to unseal a search warrant and property receipt relating to a court-approved search that the FBI conducted earlier this week. That search was of premises located in Florida belonging to the former president. The department did not make any public statements on the day of the search. The former president publicly confirmed the search that evening, as is his right. Copies of both the warrant and the FBI property receipt were provided on the day of the search to the former president's counsel, who was on site during the search. That was Attorney General Merrick Garland confirming that Donald Trump does indeed have a copy of the search warrants. Now, that's not necessarily surprising news, but what it does tell us is that if Trump wanted to, he could release the search warrants. But he's not doing that. I'm not necessarily sure why. Perhaps there's something in there that he finds embarrassing or incriminating. Either way, if he's truly innocent, if he believes this is an abuse of power, prove it. Release the search warrants. He's not going to do that. Now, thankfully, Merrick Garland confirmed that the Department of Justice is working to unseal the search warrant. So we will see the contents of said search warrant within time. But I just want to address the members of right wing media who are claiming that this is nothing more than an illegitimate political witch hunt where the Democratic Party is weaponizing law enforcement to use, you know, against their political opponents. That's not true. It is unequivocally false. First and foremost, the director of the FBI, Christopher Wray, who had to approve of this raid, he was appointed by Donald Trump. Second of all, this raid could have been prevented had Donald Trump just complied with a subpoena. So this is largely his fault for just thinking that he's above the law. As the New York Times explains, former President Donald J. Trump received a subpoena this spring in search of documents that federal investigators believed he had failed to turn over earlier in the year when he turned boxes of material he had improperly taken with him upon moving out of the White House, three people familiar with the matter said. The subpoena suggests that the Justice Department tried methods short of a search warrant to account for the material before taking the politically explosive step of sending FBI agents unannounced to Mar-a-Lago. Mr. Trump's home and members only club. So just pause for a moment and imagine that this was you and you refused to comply with the subpoena. You weren't cooperating with law enforcement. I don't think you'd do that because you know that there would be penalties associated with this. Fines, jail potentially. But Donald Trump hasn't been complying with any of the investigations surrounding himself because he actually believes he's above the law. And you have his supporters defending him. I mean, this is a man who lives in a literal resort and people think that he's he's fighting for me. No, he doesn't care about you. He doesn't give a fuck about you. He doesn't care if you die. You are worthless to him. All he cares about is you propping him up and giving him more power, hopefully so he can avoid prosecution in the event this investigation with regard to January 6th or this current investigation goes south for him. He doesn't care about you, but yet his supporters, like the cult members that they are, still defend him. So CNN talked to some Trump supporters nearby Mar-a-Lago, and the responses were predictable. Almost everyone we spoke with is very angry about the fact uh, that uh, the FBI came here uh, to Mar-a-Lago just yesterday. They believe, uh, they didn't say what the basis for this was, but they believe that Donald Trump has been cooperating with the Department of Justice, uh, which is investigating the handling of presidential records and presidential documents. Uh, They don't think that it was a good idea for the FBI to come uh, to Mar-a-Lago, especially when the former president wasn't even home. Here's what else some of his supporters told me. They don't want the truth. That's the bottom line. They don't want the truth. You don't think that's why they came here to Mar-a-Lago to try and find out the truth and recover the archives? No. They are scared to death of Donald Trump. It's just a show. It, it, this is like maybe impeachment number four here for Trump. That's all it is. That's what I think. I mean, they didn't get it the first time, the Russian thing. They didn't get it the second time, right, with Ukraine. They didn't get it the third time with January 6th, I think they're running, they know they're running out of time there. They raid a home and CNN cameras are there and some of his past people. They, they know what's going on. It's all for a show to make Trump so he cannot run again. You don't think that there was a real reason to come no, here? You think I it's just a show? I, it's not even think. I know there's no real reason. I know it in my heart. I know it in my spirit. He has never lied about anything. 
many of the supporters were saying to me that the FBI and the Department of Justice are corrupt. I was quick to point out to them that it was Donald Trump who appointed Christopher Wray as director of the FBI, but they continued to say that he was corrupt. We also talked about Hillary Clinton's emails. I reminded them that it was Donald Trump who called for an investigation into uh, her classified emails, uh, but the irony was lost on them. They continued to say that he didn't do anything wrong and she did. And that's one of the many pitfalls with pretending that politics is a team sport and having no consistent political beliefs. It leads to things like that. It's embarrassing. That lady said, I know in my heart, I know it in my spirit, he has never lied about anything. We're talking about Donald Trump here. These people are genuinely delusional. They're living in an alternate reality that Donald Trump has crafted for them. I mean, even politicians who I support I acknowledge that at some point in time, they've probably lied because politicians, they lie pretty frequently. But Donald Trump, nope, he's above the fray. He's better than everyone else, and he's completely innocent. Again, why are you defending these politicians who don't care about you? I just find this so egregious. Now, right-wing media has responded by saying, well, what about Hillary Clinton? What about Hunter Biden? What about this? What about that? And my response is always, I don't care. I'm not a team sports politics player, so lock them all up. I don't care. Investigate Hillary Clinton if you want to investigate Hunter Biden. I don't care. In fact, Hunter Biden should probably be investigated. But this is the mentality only of people who view politics as team sports. They think that, okay, so long as our team is the one that's taking the hits, then I'm good. It doesn't matter if I said one thing previously about Hillary Clinton with regard to the FBI and I had to do a complete 180. So long as my team is racking up the points, I'm a okay with that. And it's just ridiculous. And I love that, you know, Republicans will try to portray this as some sort of a double standard. And Charlie Kirk had the best response, by the way, saying, oh, well, you know, how many of Epstein's associates, how many of these perverts have been raided by the FBI? And I have to point out that Charlie... Trump was one of Epstein's associates. So, <laughs> what do you even say to that? Now, he'd respond by saying, oh, well, yeah, what about Bill Clinton, who was also one of Epstein's associates? Yeah, agree with that. Bill Clinton should absolutely be investigated as well. In fact, Bill Clinton and Donald Trump, they should share a cell. That would be poetic justice. I don't care about any of these fucking elites because guess what? Just because they write these laws doesn't mean that they shouldn't be subject to the laws that they impose on all of us. If you want to live... In an actual equal justice system, you can't support this two tiers of justice where elites can get away with whatever they want, refuse to comply with law enforcement, you know, uh, ignore subpoenas. Whereas plebs, if they did the same thing, they'd be locked up. Like, you can't claim that you support equality in the law and you cave for people like Donald Trump. Like, it's mind-blowing to me. But if you watch nothing but Fox News, if you have, you know, a, a grandparent in your family who's hyped up on the Kool-Aid that Fox News sells to them, they have this perception that everyone in the country believes that this was a huge, you know, uh, misconduct. Like, it's the biggest scandal since Watergate. But that is just them living in this skewed reality because in actuality, polls show otherwise. So a poll conducted by the Morning Consult and Politico confirmed that most Americans think that the raid was good. 49% of registered voters approve of the FBI's raid on Mar-a-Lago with Democrats and to a lesser extent independents approving mostly, though there is a lot of independents who don't know or have no opinion, so just keep that in mind. Also from the same poll, 58% of voters believe Trump definitely or probably broke the law with Democrats and independents again answering the same way and only 24% of Republicans saying he either definitely or probably broke the law. So that right there is why the right has been so loud. Their shrieking has been deafening essentially because they want to make sure that they take hold of this narrative because once they take hold of the narrative then perhaps everyone else in America their views will align with them. But the problem is that Trump has been so brazen that it's kind of hard to craft the narrative when you have someone like Donald Trump who just flippantly disregard laws that he doesn't agree with. I mean, he talks about law and order and the rule of law. This is the party that's supposed to support law enforcement. And they they just they have no respect for the law. You know, it, it's it's again, this is one of those stories that is so mind numbingly insufferable, because even if you know that the right is hypocritical, there are some times where they just like wear a flag saying I'm a fucking hypocrite or they have a flag saying that I'm a fucking hypocrite 
And this is one of those times where they go from back the blue, we support our heroes in uniform to, oh, let's abolish the FBI within a matter of minutes after learning about the Trump FBI raid. It's just ridiculous. Now, there is one caveat to that poll. So Politico explains, when asked how they generally viewed the FBI's actions, voters were similarly split overall. Question, would you consider the FBI's decision to conduct a search warrant on former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida to be an abuse of power that should be investigated? 41%. An abuse of power, but it should not be investigated. 6%. Not an abuse of power. 40%. Don't know. No opinion. 13%. So perhaps they buy into this idea from the right-wing media that, yeah, this is kind of an abuse of power, but at the same time, Trump's crimes were probably so egregious that even if it's an abuse of power, yeah, this should still have happened. So don't let these right-wing media figures and propagandists pretend as if everyone is against this. People know that Trump is a criminal, and more and more people are waking up to the fact that he's a criminal. And whether or not he will actually be held accountable— That's yet to be determined. I'm skeptical. I don't actually think it's going to happen, but I'd be happy to be proven wrong either way. You know, don't let them pretend as if, oh my God, we're all against this. Everybody knows that this is something that is necessary, right? If you actually care about justice, equal justice in this country, then you have to support this. Otherwise, just admit that you think that elites should be above the law. Just admit that already. Stop pretending as if you care about equal justice because you clearly don't if you think that Donald Trump, of all people, should not have been raided by the FBI. He should be in jail right now, and he's lucky that he isn't. And perhaps the only thing that's saving his ass is being really wealthy and really powerful. But other than that, you know, if he were just a normal person who worked at Home Depot, he would have been in prison a long time ago. I'm going to come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the Come Zone. Come. 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 Come.